Does it make a difference whether your teacher believes that you are a high performer or a low performer? That you are a late bloomer, that even though you haven't demonstrated your intellectual ability, you know, you, you will blossom. Uh, or you're not a good student or you're a good student. Psychologist Robert Rosenthal and school principal Lenore Jacobson did a remarkable study some years ago in which they told school teachers, elementary school teachers, that on the basis of some uh, psychological test, some of their ch students, some of the children in their class were designated as late bloomers. Even though they hadn't shown any um, academic uh, success, they are expected to bloom. The amazing thing is that in a very short time, the teachers began to treat the children, those children differently than the other uh, kids. Those kids began to think of themselves differently, and in the end, they actually performed significantly better than the other kids. They were transformed by the teacher's positive expectations. The opposite of Jane Elliott's study, in which teachers' negative expectations that the teacher infused led them to think of themselves as inferior. So let's see the Pygmalion effect in action in these classrooms set up by Rosenthal and Jacobson.